hurt, heaviness. We wash away non-productive thoughts into the nothingness from which they sprang. We wash away that it, that they, that the. And it doesn't matter what it, they are. Let it go and step into this life. Because we're new creatures. We've never experienced this moment before. What are we thinking to the moment? What are we thinking about our lives? What are we planning for this 2019? Yes. For life is pregnant with all infinite possibilities. Yes. Yes. The renewed consciousness reminds us to not be conformed of the world, but transformed by the renewing yes. of our mind. Okay. That mind that creates. That mind that created. That mind which is the will of God. What is the will of God? For us to experience wholeness, abundance, prosperity, success, belonging not just a small portion, but a complete one. Yes, in the physical. Yes, in the financial. Yes, in our relationships. Yes, universally. We can have all the good we can imagine. Yes. But what are we imagining? What do we put our imagination to work on or for? We're so busy expecting for people to act the same. And we don't open our minds for newness to come out. So it's the transformation and the renewing of our consciousness that brings to us a new world. The spiritual experience will get us where we want to be and where we need to be. The renewed consciousness. What's the definition of thug? The dictionary says an anointing one or more people or things, assuming to be common knowledge, a word used to point forward to a following, qualifying, defining clause or phrase. The renewed consciousness. What is the definition of renewed? To resume, to return, restart, reestablish, to take up again, to come back, to do again, to look over, examine, record, reopen, restore, revive, become new again. Re is to do again. So we've learned this teaching. We've prayed. We've we had faith. We've done all of this, but now we need to do it again, even stronger, greater, bigger, because God has bigness for you. Don't speak to your little circumstances. Speak to your big God. Amen. Renew. <laughs> the renewed consciousness. What's the definition of consciousness? The thinking faculty, our thinking faculty, the state of being awake and aware of oneself, one's surrounding. Frederick Bale says this, that we are all always sowing seeds every time we think, and buried beneath the soil of mind is the good and the not so good seeds. They operate by the same principle of life. They grow silently together, just like the wheat and the tares. And eventually, all of our thoughts appear in some form in our lives. Bell says that each of us is exactly where we belong by the right of consciousness. There is no fate, but only our sowing. There is no destiny, only our choices. And there is no bad breaks and no bad luck, only the unfoldment of how we view life, how we view circumstances, how we view the experiences. Every moment we live, we are choosing something. Often our choices are made so rapidly and haphazardly, and that's by our emotions. Sometimes we need to take a breath and let God flow through your consciousness. We can't afford to only catch a glimpse or live a little in this teaching. This is not about wishful thinking. This is about releasing this tremendous power that is within each of us. Bell says the difference between the beginner and the skilled user of truth is the difference between the surface swimmer and the scuba diver. One plays around on the surface and the other searches the depths using the added power of the creator. So our opportunity to be renewed is right now. So look back on your spiritual work. How you appreciate what God has given you. Look back on your worth. What do you feel about yourself? What about service? What about the universal contribution? What about love? Look back on that and then in 2019, multiply it. Not regretting or denying, but adding that to the book of your life. We made it thus far. If it didn't kill you, it made you stronger. Mm -hmm. And here we are, sitting in the presence of God with infinite possibilities.
possibility to live the life that we say we want to live. 2019, mentally, physically, spiritually, this is a new opportunity, a new time to experience all that you seek. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. And what that led me to was Psalms 23rd, 1 through 6. It says, and this right here, this psalm is a spiritual mind treatment. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. What David is saying, David saw God as a great shepherd. For David himself was a shepherd boy. David saw God as his protector, defender, and guider. Enabling him to develop and express all of his divine qualities. Our thoughts are like sheep. And we need to take care of them and nurture them and watch them. We are created to let our Heavenly Father walk us through this thing we call life. God, the indwelling life principle that animates in each of us, allowing us to do our appointed work here on earth. The thought that the thing itself, God, Lord, Creator, Source, Father, caring for us, should give us a feeling of trust and confidence and something greater than we can see with our eyes, hear with these ears, but something deep within the soul of each of us. The renewed consciousness would allow the spirit to have its way with you. We cannot live successfully without the help from the higher source. Knowing God is our provider should fill us with peace. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside still water. Green is the symbol of newness and freshness, which spirit constantly feeds the soul. The pastures symbolize the abundance of supply. The still waters are peace-filled states of consciousness as a form of meditation. Far too often we are unable to meditate in a peaceful state because of the turbulent, challenging, regretful, hurtful thoughts that we allow to occupy our thought processes that invade our consciousness this affirmation that David speaks, we need, he leadeth me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He guideth me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. The restoring of the soul is the strengthening of our thinking power that we allow to be guided by the divine source and harmony of good. The paths of righteousness are the open doors of illumination Communication between the Father, the Creator, and His offspring. This is an affirmation of divine guidance. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod, thy staff, they comfort me. On this journey from darkness, from our ego, from fear, from hate, from hurt, from disappointment, feeling betrayed, feelings of loss, to that heavenly spiritual consciousness which gives us satisfaction. It is necessary to pass through the shadow of danger, fear, and hurt that comes in a million different ways, in a million different appearances. But divine love is always stronger than death. The renewed consciousness embraces eternal reality. The renewed consciousness re-remembers the hand of God is leading, guiding, and directing. When we choose to be, we are safe. The rod is spiritual power. The staff is like a club, it's a tool, like a hammer or a wrench or pliers, something that you can use to build what it is that you want. Thou prepares a place before me in the presence of mine enemies. The enemy is in a man. See, everything that we're thinking comes from our thought processes. We can blame it on other people, but we're thinking it. We have our own consciousness, and nobody can feel it but us. And it's going to be based on our experiences. Yes. So what we think about a thing determines how the thing thinks about us. Right. So whatever has happened in your life, use it. Bless it. It's nobody's fault. Add it to the book of your life. Whatever it is. It can give us self-discipline, for it all works together for our good, says the renewed consciousness. Always, in all ways, leave room for the unfoldment of a miracle in your life. 
when you're all crammed up in here with all of the stuff that happened years ago, all of the things that you're counting that you don't have, that you wish you had, how about staying in the moment with God and thanking God that you have breath and you get to rethink again. Thou hast anointed my head with oil. My cup runneth over. God has blessed. God has given freely wisdom, health, success, prosperity, peace, strength, courage to all of its children. All that is required to overcome, to be victorious, is the use of our spiritual father. The oil of love is forever the blanket over our lives. Your cup runneth over. But did you bring a cup? Did you bring an open consciousness? Because that's what your cup is. Consciousness. Because everything flows from a thought. And then it manifests if we have faith in it enough and if we believe in it enough. Your consciousness of good and plenty is awaiting your recognition. Surely goodness and loving kindness shall follow me all the days. I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. The believer lives in spiritual truth. To dwell in the house is to recognize, unify, and realize spiritual strength, power, and courage is within you. And most of all, keep spiritual law. That's when it works in our favor. And we shall feel safe, blessed, good, renewed, and refreshed in the consciousness of the Lord forever. See, the renewed consciousness affirms, speaks, thinks, lives as if the Lord is his shepherd. To realize we are not just flesh. We are not our jobs, our service, our certificates. But we're spiritual beings having human experiences every moment of every day. Let us take the power and use it for our good. The good of mankind. Let the oil anoint. Allow the presence to die. Go to the table of plenty. Let it fill you with glory, peace, and honor. For the recognition of God is the renewed consciousness. This is our time to grow. And growing requires us to do what's wholesome, spiritual, and loving. When it doesn't look good, when it doesn't feel good, or it doesn't taste good, we're supposed to take care of ourselves and each other. This is the world that God entrusted to us, its children. Let us take good care of it. As we take inventory of our lives, our circumstances, our health, our finances, our relationships, our study habits, or lack thereof, what are we proclaiming? We want different, we must be ready to do something different. The thing itself is a promoter of good. Let us speak our word, claim our blessings, see clearly our position in the universe of good and plenty. The renewed consciousness contemplates and then activates the excitement. So let us get excited about our lives in 2019. God allowed each of us to breathe in, walk in, Dressed in it, talking in it, eating it. We are lacking nothing. Let us rejoice for the renewed consciousness knows that God is the power that's within, the power that will work it all. And so it is. Yes. Yes.